Hey guys, at BV Manson here. Kind of a big day. Tex Savina seat from Hue City, Vietnam. Showed up on the doorstep just before Christmas and I'm thrilled. Let's go ahead and unbox this. If you uh, aren't familiar with Tex Savina seats, it's a little more information. All right, head on over to texavina.com. And as you can see here, they got seats for pretty much everything, every brand <laughs> that you could possibly imagine. And uh, it goes back pretty far as well. So you can get seats from the 60s in every style, variation, colors. Uh, you can do custom colors and all that. But let's take a look at their Honda selection. Their Honda selection is pretty vast as well. So really, no matter what bike you're working on, you're probably going to find a seat that's going to work well um, for your build. And again, they're built, you know, to basically slap right on the bike. It, it utilizes all the hardware that exists on the original factory seat and pretty much swap out the hardware and you're good to go. But just look at all of these different varieties. Um, here's the one that I selected here, a 72 CB350, or actually this is a different one, CL350, but whatever. This is what your listings look like, some descriptions. And again, the hardest part is actually picking one. <laughs> you you got to settle on one and pick a style that you really like. And uh, lots of great photos as well of the product that you're picking up. Um, Texavina, I really can't recommend them enough. Um, you know, the, again, this is my second seat that I've purchased from them. And um, I just love them. I think they are just fantastic. All right. So this is uh, actually my second uh, Texavina seat. I can show you the other one here in just a little while. I actually had originally put one of these seats on my 1970 CB350 and I loved it. But then I kind of reverted that bike back to 100% stock original. So I have that seat laying around, but I needed another seat for the 71, 72 apocalypse bike that we're working on on the channel. So I went ahead and said, you know what, let's go back to Tech Savina and see what they've got. Now they've got, you know, seats of all different kinds and, and, and stuff. But what I really loved about that first seat that I got was that it was just freaking high quality. So that was about two years ago, I think, that I did that. And um, I'm just hoping the quality is still there because they, they were legit, beautiful, beautiful seats. So let's uh, open this up. The packaging has definitely declined. Um, the other seat I got was packed beautifully, uh, full, um, uh, you know, styrofoam bag and, and everything. So here we go. Let's pull the seat out. It's all bubble wrapped. There goes the styrofoam all over the ground. All right, let me clean that up. All right, we got that mess cleaned up. Let's flip it over. Let's get this bubble wrap off of here. Hopefully no damage. This thing was on a hell of a journey. Uh, took over a month <laughs> to get here. So if you do order these, um, make sure you give yourself plenty of timeline. I ordered this during the holiday season as well, too. So I think that greatly impacted it. Uh, got stuck out in Texas someplace. So here we go. Let's take this bubble wrap off and reveal the Texavina CL350 seat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is beautiful. That is going to be absolutely perfect. And what I love about these seats, um, they come with the rubbers. So the, the mounting rubber, they have all of the cushions, everything built right into it. And basically, you can just take your existing hardware and put that right on. Shoot, they even give you the nuts. The nuts are here for the seat latch. Right, <laughs> pick it up right here, seat latch. And then for your hinges, you can actually just drop those right on there as well. Let's take a closer look at this Texavina seat, guys. This is gonna look amazing on the Apocalypse bike. All right, let's see how close we can get. But again, the quality of this is really nice. The stitching is absolutely beautiful. And what I also love is, you know, we've got a hard, almost not OEM, but um, it's made to be, it, it should just plug right on to the bike. Um, it's got the little little uh, strap there. We can put that up if we want. Um, but yeah, this all this hardware and shape, but again, it is just a beautiful, beautiful black seat. 
that's going to go on the CL350. Doesn't have the Honda lettering in the back, but whatever. I'm kind of in luck with it. Let's go see if it fits. All right, let's just do a quick fit test. Again, I don't have any of the uh, hardware on it yet. I need to put the hinges on. Uh, but yeah, let's just see what it's going to look like on it. Our hinge side is going to be over here. Kind of roughly put those where they need to be. And look at that. This thing's going to fit. <laughs> That's going to fit like a glove. And that is going to be in a beautiful addition to the Apocalypse bike. Let's take a little closer look. Just taking a little closer look, you can see the hardware for the latch. It's going to all line up. That's going to be perfect. And yeah, I mean, this really starts to turn a corner on this build. And then you can also come over onto this side and you can see, I don't know if I can show you here, the lighting's pretty bad, but we've got our hinge hardware and that is all going to line up as well. We've got our two hinges. I do have a couple of uh, extra brackets. I do have a couple of extra pins and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be pretty straightforward. So there you go, guys. There's that Tech Savina seat. I'm in like with it. It is exactly what I want. And what I love is that there's no modification needed on this bike. Basically slap the hardware on it and you're good to go. This will all mount up once it's all, all in. But guys, <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah. It's like once you get a seat, I think everything's right. The bike's really starting to come together. We got some big plans for some fenders. All right. Notice got these little ripples here were starting to bother me. And then if you remember, we've got this fender that is basically de-chromed and we need to deal with that. So I got a plan. We'll talk about that on the channel. But for now, I just wanted to show off this beautiful seat. That's going on the Apocalypse bike, guys. Uh, I highly recommend Tech Savina and their quality of seats. Um, again, they are very, very, very high quality. I think what I'll end up doing is uh, doing a few more videos on, on uh, just seats in general because there are a lot of nuances um, to making sure you get the right seat. There's front hinge, side hinge, <laughs> you know, all kinds of different stuff. So I think I'll do some seat videos just because I know I had to kind of puzzle through it. But uh, yeah, Tech Savina, the way to go. Thanks so much for watching the videos, guys. Be sure to follow along, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. And uh, don't be shy. Hit up the comments and let's have a conversation. Also, if you're interested, be sure to sign up for the e-newsletter at keeponwrenching.com. All right, guys. See you in the next video or live stream. That's a beautiful seat.